Hey guys, Mars Tengen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so, I wasn't going to make a video about this. Uh, I saw the news this morning uh, when it came out. Um, and to be honest, I did have the same reaction as a large amount of the community, which is kind of the whole reason why I'm making the video in the first place, because the initial reaction that people saw to this information, it seems was incorrect. And I very quickly saw a tweet from Goresh that kind of cleared up the situation. But I noticed that even like literally when I sit down to record this, um, and bear in mind, like I say, I saw this news when it first came out, um, I came home in the morning after a night shift, have slept for like a good six or seven hours and I woke up and I'm still seeing people posting about this incorrectly. So that's why I decided to make this video. So we got this news update in the, uh, and actually I don't even know if it was in, yeah, it's in the JP news because this is translated from the Dokon Info website. So shout out to them and uh, Asana or Harry Turney, whichever. I don't know which way they want to be described. The screen name's Asana, but the person who basically manages or runs the Dokon Info website. So this is taken from the JP News. So currently, we have confirmed the following issues in some events, and the event is Cell Max. The description of the problem is Cell Max, who appears as an enemy character, may not activate all attacks or special moves. If the above phenomenon occurs, it will be resolved by restarting the application. So. Basically, people saw this and then immediately jumped on the assumption that what this means is that Cell Max, who, you know, I'm sure most of you watching this have probably done the event or, well, have at least tried the event, right? You might not have actually beaten it, but you know that when you get to, like, the second phase, for example, he does various uh, attack all attacks throughout the turn. Uh, when you get to the final phase, he can lock units in place, as well as the fact that he can actually double super as well. So, shout out to Raspi uh, that makes some of these detailed info things. We went over some of these for the red zone stats. But you can see here, so if we look at the final phase for Tech Cell Max, 60 million HP, 530,000 attack. I talked about the details for this when I did those red zone guides. These attack things, what they basically mean is before they take into account the your units like defense and like damage reduction and all that kind of stuff this is how much damage like normal attacks would do so to a unit with like zero defense basically uh, his normal attacks do 530,000 so obviously when it comes to it also incorporates obviously things like typing the whole super versus extreme so like for example a super AGL unit is going to need way more defense than like an extreme in unit in order to tank these attacks right so he attacks nine times per turn uh, he has a 15% chance to do one less attack so it could be eight in a turn uh, and then it shows you his defense damage reduction his super attack chance is 14%, maximum SA chance 2. Uh, I've talked about this in some of the previous runs. I believe it was Sora that I saw give this information for the first time. But um, there has to be a delay of 6 attacks between his super. So if he's attacking 9 times in one turn, if he attacks you as like the first or second attack of the turn, he could then also still attack you, uh, super attack you, as like the last attack, right? Because there has to be a gap in between of six attacks. So if you ever get supered in the first or second attack of the turn, that's when you need to be worried about, um, you know, a potential second super. But if he supers you as like, you know, the sixth attack of the turn, he's not going to be supering you again at the end of the turn. And then at the bottom it says here, 50% chance to lock any one random slot. So again, this is very RNG based. Um, I've had runs where multiple turns in a row, he hasn't locked anyone. I've had turns where he's locked somebody two turns in a row. Um, obviously, one of the most frustrating mechanics and one of the ones I hate the most. So people saw this post in the news and basically where it says may not activate all attacks or special moves, people instantly assumed that this means that he should be locking you every turn. He should potentially even be double supering every turn. And so then, of course, you know, a certain part of the community just went absolutely insane because this event, as we've discussed in various videos, you guys have seen some of the runs that I've done. This event is like the hardest event in the game. And people took this information as basically, oh, this hardest event, like this hardest boss, it actually should be harder. Like, you can't see the sidebar with the comments, because I'm trying to, you know, fit the screen on here a bit more nicely, pre presentation-wise. But people in the comments are literally saying, like, wait, what? He was already in a nerfed state when we're fighting him? 
Like, he's actually supposed to be more powerful than he is right now. But no, that is not the case. So, the funny thing as well, people were joking uh, the part about this part of the bottom. If the above phenomenon occurs, it will be resolved by restarting the application. Like, even if it's the true situation of what it actually is, why would you want to fix the issue that makes him, like, weaker? So, uh, shout out to our boy Goresh who came in with the uh, quote here. This is on that original post. So, it's a bug where he never supers or does AoE attacks. If he supers you at all in your fight, then the bug isn't active. So, straight away, not only does this not mean anywhere close to what we thought that it meant when the news first came out, what it actually means is that probably 99% of you watching this video who've actually like played the Cell Max event, you probably ha haven't actually ever even encountered this bug. So if you've played the event and he has supered you at all, or done the AoE, which I assume just refers to obviously the second phase, then you don't have the bug and the fight is exactly as it should be. It's not nerfed, it's not getting buffed, uh, you know, you didn't get lucky and get in there and beat it before it was made even more difficult. Uh, the bug is something that people potentially have never even seen. Um, funnily enough, I actually did have a run. I don't know if it's the one from the video that I put up earlier with the Goten and Trunks. I'd have to go back and watch it. But I did actually have a phase on the physical uh, phase, uh, a, a turn on the physical phase, I should say, where he didn't do a single AoE. And obviously I thought at the time, I was like, wow, this is incredibly lucky. I don't know if it is the one that made it into the video, if it was in one of the previous attempts. But I remember at the time being like, wow, this is crazy lucky. He's not doing any AoEs on this physical turn. Because um, if you've watched that video, you know that like the Int Goten I was running and the physical Goten and Trunks themselves, not really the best at taking those AoE hits because they need to get their defense from attacking first. But then in that same run, when I got to the tech phase, I got supered like immediately in slot one. And so according to this uh, translation of the information from Goresh, obviously he doesn't go into a lot of detail or say like specifically where he got this information from. But considering, you know, Goresh can read the original source material without having to use the uh, image that I showed at the beginning, which is basically from Google Translate. Um, I'm going to go with Goresh's expertise on this. So no, Cellmax is not nerfed. Uh, he is not going to be buffed. Uh, the fight is not going to become harder than it already is. And like I already said, you probably haven't even seen this bug yourself a single time. Because as it says, again, to reiterate, to read this second sentence out of the two here, if he supers you at all in your fight, then the bug isn't active. So I've seen, like I say, a lot of people still posting saying that this means that he's nerfed, he's going to get buffed, the event is weaker than it should be. Um, that is not the case, unless you are literally affected by this bug, which, as I said, I personally, in all of my runs, I can't say I've ever seen this, right? Like, all the runs I've been trying with different random teams and random units, most of them, let's be honest, end with the wrong unit taking a super attack. So, um, this bug is something that weirdly exists, and I'm sure they will fix it, and it'll probably be one of those things where they fix it and they give everybody one stone uh, compensation, even though 99% of people were never affected by it in the first place, but, I mean, hey, I'll take a... I'll take a free stone for doing absolutely nothing, I guess. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below. Have you actually encountered this? I would be very surprised, but like, I mean, I mean who knows? Maybe someone out there has beaten like the, the event, and in that final phase against Texel Max, it took you like three or four turns, maybe even longer, and he literally never super attacked. And then I guess you actually did experience the bug. But let me know your thoughts down below. But yeah, just to try and uh, assuage the fears of anybody who hasn't actually beaten the event yet. Um, yeah, it is not nerfed. It's not going to be made more difficult. So uh, rest easy and continue on those battles. So let me know down below if there's any more units and teams that you want to see me take into the event. Doing the Goten and Trunks run earlier was pretty funny. I'm probably going to put up the uh, double Namek Goku leads, which on global was pretty damn difficult so i'm pretty happy with that run that's going to go up on the channel at some point later as well and let me know any other ones you want to see down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one